Beginner's Guide to the Option Sets feature within Counter. Now Option Sets allows you to assign sets of options to a product so that your staff are prompted to select multiple options based around certain criteria. Take for example a burger deal. You might want to, in your burger deal, assign a certain side for no extra charge, a certain dessert for no extra charge, and a certain drink in a $10 burger deal. Those three options need to be selected separately. Only one needs to be selected from each, and option sets makes this extremely easy for your staff to do. The first thing we'll do is show you how to build one of these products and then the option sets surrounding it, and then we'll have a look on the point of sale at how that all works. So what we'll do first is add our burger combo product, put it in a category, I'll put it in deals, give it a price of $10 and I'll add this product. You can now see in this brand new site I have a single product in my product list. The next step is to go into option sets and build out our sets of options that we want for this particular burger combo. So we'll go into option sets, I've made two already, dessert, drink, and I'll make one more, which is sides. Now when we make an option set, we can see that we can add options to this set of options. So I'm going to add for my sides, mash, chips, and salad. Now the next step is to assign rules. So we've added the products that can be selected, and now we need to choose the minimum selection. So that's going to be one, so you have to choose one. Maximum selection, which is also going to be one, so you can only choose one. And then if we want to show prefixes, for example, no extra cider only, you can assign them before your products to give your kitchen a little bit more information about the preparation. We'll turn those on for this example. Now I'm going to add some products to my other option sets now. Dessert, I'm going to add a cupcake and fruit, fruits product I've already got in there so I'll delete that one and then on the drinks I'm going to add Sprite, Coke and Fanta. Now you can see those are, are added there. Now these two option sets have already been created with rules, so minimum maximum selection of one, and these drinks here with rules, minimum maximum of one as well. If we go back to our product list now, go back to products, you'll see that all of the option sets that we've made have come up as products. They haven't been added to any category because they're housed within that specific set of options. They've been added as tax-free products and with a zero dollar value. Now you can add prices while creating those option sets if you want, you can also change the pricing or the taxing here in this particular menu. Now the final step that we're going to need to do is go into our option sets menu and actually assign these sets of options to our particular product. So you can see we have our burger combo product here found under option sets and products with option sets. We're going to select the three option sets we'd like to apply to this product to my burger combo. And then once we've added them to the product, can drop this little drop down and we can rearrange which of these go in which order. So I'd like the drink to be selected first, followed by sides, and then dessert. Now we can go to the pause screen and see what we've created. Now you can see here the Burger Combo product has been added to our deals category. It has a little plus in the bottom right hand corner, which means it's an option set. So if we add that product to the transaction by tapping on it, on the left hand side we're presented with a list of our sets of options. So our drink option first, we'll choose one and it's Coke. And then our sides option, you can see this add instruction button which we added earlier. We can choose to add extra mash. And then from a dessert perspective, we can choose either our cupcake or our fruit. You can see a burger combo has been added there with very clear instructions as to what's included in this combo and all of this will print to the kitchen and also on your customer's receipt. This has been a quick guide on uh, option sets. There will be an advanced guide going through more advanced functionality of this feature.